and this lesson we want to take a look now at the bottom here which is the last part of how to edit this this section here if you wanted to let's say edit this information blog com company and photos now keep in mind that the photos have been populated by the SP portfolio as I showed you in a previous video and all this here is just a menu that you can put the position on so let's go back to the module position so this bottom one two three and four so when you go here this is bottom one two three and four if you wanted to edit let's say the information one you can click on it and this is where you can edit this information that you currently see at the bottom you can edit if you don't want it you just click if you don't want to have this here you can just disable it and you just go where it says status you click on publish and this part is not going to show so the same thing too for the blog you can go here and all the blog is connected to content and your articles so all that information you see here is pulling from your article pages so if you want to change the content here you just have to change the content of the blog and then for the company that's just the menu you can see the type here when you look at the type it shows you what type that you have so you have the articles you have the menu you have the SP page builder image gallery you have the breadcrumbs so all this here gives you a quick preview of exactly what you're actually on um, what this is connected to uh, for the company it's connected to the company's menu so you click on company and you can see from here that this is uh, selecting the menu you can change the menu from here too so if you wanted to have this main menu that's here you can do that as well but I'm just gonna leave it at that if you want to experiment with it feel free to do so so I'm just gonna click on close and you have the, the photos once again that's connected to the SP you know uh, portfolio so that's what that's connected to and uh, there you have it now that's how you edit the bottom images if you don't want something at the footer you just have to disable it or delete it